What's up everybody, we're going to walk through the setup of a Palo Alto firewall on VMware. <clears throat> so really quick, uh, not going to go through these first two steps, but just wanted to show it to you and I will include the links in the description uh, for the VMware site. This is where you go, you download the Workstation Pro, the evaluation version, and I will include the link for that. And you also want to get your uh, OVA, your Palo Alto OVA from support.paloaltonetworks.com. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my VM, VMware. And I'm going to hit file, open. I'm going to grab my OVA, my Palo Alto OVA. And I'm going to name it. And I'm going to hit import. All right, importing has completed. <clears throat> so right here we have all our specs. Uh, Palo Alto provides the right specs for you so you don't have to change anything. We'll make note. If you note right here, the memory is 5.5 gigs. So if you have eight gigs or less uh, memory on your PC or laptop, you do uh, want to uh, upgrade that to at least uh, double that amount, at least 16 gig. Um, if you do not, you probably will have problems with the performance of your either your Palo Alto firewall or you will not have enough memory for your actual um, host PC to work correctly. So we're going to go ahead and click right here and we're going to power up the virtual machine. All right, we're at the login, the uh, username or the default username and password for Palo Alto is admin admin. So admin for username and admin for the password. So we type it in again. All right, and it does force you to change your default password. So we're going to go ahead and put the old password in and change the password. Okay, password has been changed. Okay, let's go ahead and type show system info. So this is going to give our give us our IP information, subnet information. Uh, we're going to just make note of this IP right here, 192.168.254.117. Going to go to our browser open another tab and we're going to take type HTTPS colon whack whack so I already have a similar IP and that IP was 117 so I'm going to change that all right uh, this is just saying that um, Palo Alto is uh, using a self-signed certificate we're going to go ahead and hit advanced Hit proceed and we're going to type in admin for the username and the password you changed it to and we're going to hit login
All right, we're going to say do not show again, close, going to hit OK. And right here, you notice we're at our dashboard. We have our dashboard set up and we're logged in. Uh, that's it. I hope this video was valuable for you.